and that can be online or in store. So if you don't feel like leaving the house, that's fine. There are still ways to save money with online deals and you can still get all of the rewards too. So I wanna go through, I've got pictures. I'm gonna show you the pictures from in the store and also show you some of those deals online for each of the major drugstores. So we're gonna start with Walgreens and jump through um, some of the top deals that are running in Walgreens online and in store, and then we will go to CVS. So that's the plan. So if you're just a CVS girl, hang with me because the Walgreens list is kind of short, but I wanted to go there first. And hey, Lynn, I'm glad you could pop over and um, uh, make it. I was trying so hard to be on right at noon just for you since I told you that was the time I would go live. Um, so to start with Walgreens, the big deals to hit this week, and let me just switch and pull up pictures um, in Walgreens. Um, there's a lot, and if you uh, have ever looked at my phone, this is what my phone normally looks like. It's just a bunch of pictures. Um, so we're going to start um, with Maybelline. Maybelline this week, my store didn't have any tags, guys, but uh, Great Lash Mascara, always the cheapest Maybelline product that you can grab, the Fit Me Foundation. Now, this is an online, or sorry, this you could get the sale online on this one, but you cannot get the points on this one, just to clarify. So this week, while there isn't a tag there to see, Maybelline in Walgreens is technically buy one, get one half off. It's also on sale online, buy one, get one half off. Now in the store, if you buy two of them, you're gonna get back a $5 register award. And we've got coupons. We have digital coupons for Maybelline. We also have paper coupons for Maybelline. So uh, you wanna use one of each if you're going into the store because our paper coupons all say a limit of one. Um, so you wanna use one digital, one paper. Uh, I would recommend going one mascara and one um, foundation using the coupons for each of those products. You're gonna get back $5 in rewards in the store. That's gonna make those two products, if that's the route that you go, it's gonna make those two products um, like 65 cents a piece not a bad price. Now online, if we just went online here, the sale is online for Maybelline. You will not earn the rewards. That's the part you need to realize because this is a register award deal. Um, I will get that buy one, get one half off sale. And to also emphasize, I'll still be able to use the digital coupon. So if you needed this, you know, I don't know, maybe a lot of us aren't even wearing makeup on a regular basis right now, but if you needed it, you would still be able to get the sale. You would still be able to use any digital coupons that you had. So it shows up right here, that $2 off coupon. Um, and then you're gonna be able to get free shipping, which isn't bad either. Just, um, or it's, I guess now they've upped it. It's shipping with a $35 purchase. So let's throw in some other products on Walgreens or ship it to your local store for free and then just swing in and pick up your order if that's the route you wanted to go. If you're going to go to your store to pick it up, you might as well get the rewards on it though, just so you kind of, um, you know, see that whole side of it. You, you're you missing the $5 reward with this one online. You get the sale, you can use the coupon, but that's kind of it. So just so we've kind of, you know, emphasize that any register award deal in Walgreens, that's how it's gonna work. Register awards require you to be at the register for them to print. Um, so I, I don't want you to think all Walgreens deals are gonna print because they aren't. It is just going to be those register, or just the balance rewards that are actually going to print for you um, when you head into the store. So to go and to talk balance rewards, let's go diapers um, because this is actually a great deal and you can get it online, guys. If you need diapers, you can get Pampers diapers as low as $4.99 this week at Walgreens in store or online. Doesn't matter which way you go on this one. Um, so, you know, go online, make this easy for yourself. So Pampers diapers, I'll just go ahead and pull it up online to show you. Um, but Pampers this week, on sale for $8.99 a pack. When you grab four of them, you are gonna get 10,000 balance rewards back. That's $10 worth. Uh, and this is all spelled out over here so you can see it all. And there are digital coupons. So perfect, you can get the exact same deal in the store or online. Super easy, so just buy it online. So to get the best deal here, what I want you to do, grab two packs of diapers, 
and two packs of Easy Ups. And the reason for that, Easy Ups are like their, their pull-ups, their training pants. But the reason for that is that we have a digital coupon for diapers and we have a digital coupon right here for Easy Ups and they both qualify for this sale. So that way you can use the most number of coupons that we can on that item and still get those bounce rewards back. So by four total, so two diapers, two Easy Ups would be the best deal. Use two digital coupons for $3 off two. Get back $10 in rewards. Uh, not bad, you're gonna pay $4.99 a pack for diapers and Easy Ups in store or online. Either way you wanna go on that. One thing to note, on Pampers really fast too, there is a mail-in rebate um, for P&G products that runs uh, into the beginning part of May, and this would qualify. You do not have to buy all $50 towards the mail-in rebate in one purchase. You can do it in multiple purchases, uh, but this is gonna qualify almost like 30 bucks towards that rebate. It is the amount you spent after coupons, but it will not factor in the rewards that you got back, so pretty sweet. Uh, and since we're on drugstores and we're going to CVS next, there is a deal on Pampers and CVS. However, you will not be able to use your CVS receipt to get any rebates. It's just the way CVS receipts work now. The fact that it's gonna end up showing that you got diapers for like $1.50 a pack, because it factors in the extra care bucks into the amount on the receipt that you technically paid, you will never hit the $50 threshold that P&G is looking for. So if you want to do a P&G rebate deal, don't aim to do it at CVS. Grab the deals in Walgreens or, uh, you know, you can even do it with online purchases. You can, you'll still get that P&G rebate, just not CVS online purchases. I don't want you to be discouraged when you went and you grabbed the same Pampers deal at CVS and it didn't work. It's a Walgreens deal, so um, don't uh, don't get yourself all, all upset over nothing. Just stick with no rebates in CVS ever. Um, now, let's talk um, toothpaste, because toothpaste is completely free this week in Walgreens. This is an only in Walgreens deal because it is a register award. If you need toothpaste, you're going to have to go to the store to grab toothpaste. Um, so Colgate Optic White, this week, it's $2.99. There are a few other types that are part of it. The total SF, um, you can grab that one too. $2.99 for a tube of toothpaste. Get back a $5 reward. We just got 50 cent coupons in Sunday's paper. There's also a 50 cent digital coupon that in the Walgreens app. So you, if you only had one newspaper, you could use one paper coupon and one e-coupon. doesn't matter here. You want two coupons, however you end up finding them. Grab two tubes of toothpaste. Uh, your total due after the coupons is gonna be $4.98, and you are gonna get back five bucks. So completely free toothpaste this week. There's free toothpaste at CVS as well, um, but Colgate is our deal for Walgreens, uh, or, and Crest is the deal in CVS. So free toothpaste all over the place. Um, but a good one to grab. Nadine has a question. I've got a $10 coupon that I didn't put on a cash card yet that expires today. Can I use this online without it being on a cash card? You can't, Nadine. So if you ever get those, uh, and let me jump big screen to answer you, but if you are doing the cash card deals that CBS runs, they're not running one right now. They always run them before Easter, before Christmas. And that little coupon prints, you need to just turn it into a gift card right then before you leave the store. So I know it's done and you already left. You're going to need to go back into the store and have it turned into a gift card um, before it expires. I'm not. So CVS has extended all the extra care box. They aren't really extending store coupons. There is a possibility, Nadine, that you could call and see what their customer service would do on the phone. Um, but the last person that I got a message from, they just said the wait times were crazy uh, to talk to the call center. So I don't know. You could try. You could see what the wait time looked like uh, on the phone. But you might just want to get in the car and turn that into a $10 gift card. They'll do it right at the register for you. You don't need to go find the gift card. Just walk into the register, give them your coupon, and, and turn it in. Um, okay. Um, and yes, so stores are, uh, stores are open in all areas, guys. And honestly, if your goal is to stay home, then do it. There are definite deals that we can do online. We've gone through a couple of them already. 
Um, but if you're going out and you needed items, I would throw these in. If I'm already there, I'm already needing to grab items, um, and they're going to give you some free toothpaste while you're in the store, get your free toothpaste, or you need free toothpaste. Maybe that's the case too. Um, uh, and Matt, uh, Matt saying no customer service. He waited 25 minutes and then was hung up on three times. So needy, and you might just want to, I don't know, either decide whether you want it to die or go and get the gift card. Um, I would personally not waste the 10 bucks if I, if you are willing to go out. Okay, let's jump into a few other Walgreens deals. Um, free toothpaste is definitely the best in Walgreens this week. Uh, there are a few other deals to grab, though. So Jergens, and specifically, I want you to focus on this guy, $4.99 for the t uh, the 10-ounce bottle of Jergens. You can do this deal online as well, guys. Um, there, it's not on sale this week. It's just regular price, but we just got $2 coupons. There's a digital coupon for this. There's a paper coupon for this. There's a printable coupon for this. So you could grab this online. Though online, you'll only be able to use one coupon. In the store, you would be able to use two. Uh, if you use two, let's assume you go to the store here, after two $2 off coupons and $2 back in rewards, these are normally $4.99, you're gonna pay $1.99 for Jergens. Uh, if you go online for this, uh, you're only gonna be able to use one coupon, so you're gonna pay $2.99 for it. Uh, that's your call if you wanted to go that route, but it is one because it's points that you could grab online. Um, however you wanted to go. So let's pop into another one. This one I found in the store this week. It was not in the weekly ad, but if you have someone in your house that has a Sonicare toothbrush, uh, we have a deal on Sonicare toothbrush head replacements, and we don't see these very often. I've actually found, we have one kiddo that uses an old Sonicare toothbrush that kind of handed down to her. Um, and I found lately that sometimes it's cheaper to just get her a new Sonicare toothbrush, the cheapest kind, than it is to get replacement heads for them. So I was kind of excited to see um, a deal on them. Buy two and get 10,000 points back. So you're basically getting $5 off of each one. There are no coupons here. So you could completely do this online if you wanted to or in store. Doesn't matter. You're going to get the same exact deal. They start at $29.99. Um, that's the one we have because we have the cheapest little toothbrush. But if you have one of the more fancier toothbrushes, um, then they're like $33.99 before the points. Um, this would also be a great deal to mention if you're headed into the store and you have one of those, you know, buy $30 and get 6,000 bonus points. This is going to count. So it's a whole nother six bucks that you're going to get back in reward. So anytime you get those printed coupons that you, you can always pair them in with other deals, as long as you buy what it asks, the amount that it asks you to buy, you're still going to get all of those points plus the bonus points on top of it. Um, so Melody is saying, what's the limit amount at Walgreens when using your points on food items? So Walgreens is going to let you use up to $50 in points in one transaction. It doesn't really matter what you use your points with, Melody. So I could grab anything that I wanted to. Food-wise, uh, to my knowledge, there's no limit on how you can redeem your points. Maybe in particular areas they are, but I didn't see a single thing in our store. Um, you can redeem your points in certain increments, so that might be part of what you're asking too. So like a one, two, three dollars, five dollars, ten, twenty, and fifty. I think are there thresholds. There may be there may be one more between that twenty and fifty range. But if you have the points for it, you can pretty much use them on anything you want. The only exception is for folks that live in Tennessee. And then there's one other state in the South. You're not allowed to use re your points or rewards on milk. And that's some crazy old dairy law that is still on the books. Um, and it does affect folks in those states. But all the rest of us were pretty good. Uh, okay, one more toothpaste deal. This one is a better deal in CVS. This one's free in CVS. But if you're headed into Walgreens, rather than trying to make multiple trips, you're already going one place. Just to mention it, Crest Toothpaste, when you buy three this week, you get back a $3 reward, but there is a digital coupon for $5 off three that just came out. So it does not make it free, but it does make it $0.32 cents a tube, which that's 
still a pretty good price for toothpaste. So again, you're gonna grab three, that's basically, uh, it's what, $8.97 for three of them. You're gonna use a $5 coupon, so you're gonna pay $3.97, and then you're gonna get back a $3 register award. This one is entirely in the store, though you could still get the sale price, you could still get it at $2.99 online, and use that $5 digital coupon online, you just wouldn't get the $3 register award back. Um, now, CVS-wise, that is completely a, a free deal at CVS, so I don't want you to miss it uh, if you're deciding which store to go to, and that was your particular toothpaste, um, then you could go that route. Uh, and Matt, you know what? You're getting ahead of me on that one because I have pictures. We totally bought um, some headphones in CVS this week. I didn't buy anything in Walgreens. I just grabbed pictures just for you guys but I bought headphones and CVS. Um, so detergent, all detergent, I don't care where you go this week, it's on sale all over the place. So if you need detergent, this is your brand for this week. We just got coupons in Sunday's paper and they know that, they always put them on sale as soon as we get a new coupon. That coupon is only available from the paper though. It is not available as a printable or a digital, so you would need to have gotten Sunday's paper. Uh, Walgreens has it for $2.88, you use the $1 coupon, you're gonna pay $1.88. CVS has it for $2.99. So you use your dollar coupon, you're gonna pay $1.99. Uh, it's also on sale in Publix, it's on sale in Bilo. So I mean, you can really, wherever you might be going, it's a good time to grab detergent if you needed it uh, because it is on sale everywhere. Uh, and then two other deals, I never miss this one when it's on sale. And you know, I've started to use them as we've worked into our stash uh, through not shopping as much as we used to. Uh, they're they're holding up pretty well. I was a little concerned um, in terms of like how well they do uh, with my kids and being in and out of the fridge and in and out of uh, leftovers. But this deal, Walgreens runs it at least once a month. It is buy one and get two free on all of their storage bags. Uh, and it makes them all 93 cents a piece. Now it's not this huge box right here, but it's all those, the smaller boxes. They're all like 20 count boxes, but you're getting them for 93 cents versus Ziploc and the name brands in the $2 to $2.50 range. This is a great grab every time it's on sale. And then one other deal, if you're headed into Walgreens and you have a crew that likes olives, um, then I would encourage you to go with this one. Lindsay's got a printable coupon for a dollar off two. So grab your printable coupon. You're gonna end up paying 49 cents per can or jar of Lindsay's olives. So pretty sweet price after the dollar off two. It's already half price. It's normally a dollar ninety nine in Walgreens. So you're getting a very good deal. So that is Walgreens in a nutshell. Pretty um, pretty small list, honestly. I, it's like all one sheet for me. Um, but CVS, I felt like in my book, had a little bit more. So that's why I wanted to start with Walgreens again before I pop off the Pampers deal you can totally get online, the Jergens deal you can get online. You can get all the sales online as well. Um, the hard part is that yes, some things are out of stock, so I can't get you know size six here, but I can get all the other sizes of Pampers. So you're just gonna need to be a little patient. One other big tip for shopping online, I know that it's Tuesday and I'm getting on to share this with you, but these deals started on Sunday. So if you're wanting to shop the online deal um, with all of the drugstore deals, you really wanna get in the habit of shopping on Sundays. Uh, and and just automatically pull up the list that's on Southern Savers, look at just the balance or award deals because those are the only ones that are gonna work online and then start you know, getting ready for them on Sunday and checking out so that you can get them before they're selling out. Okay, let's pop back over and let's do CVS. So CVS has some of the exact same deals it feels like that Walgreens does. Um, down Maybelline starting the, the mix same prices even. Um, so Maybelline and CVS, you're gonna grab two Maybelline products and you're gonna get back a $7 reward. So you can mix and match here. Uh, and I would recommend mixing and matching because our coupons are all a limit of one, just like I mentioned in Walgreens. So you could go with the Great Lash, you could go with the um, foundation, however you wanted to make this work. Grab two products, use two coupons, check your CVS account, see if you've got any store coupons that you could also use just off of General Cosmetics. Uh, and it's gonna come out to be super cheap. So for me, I have a three off 12 in cosmetics. 
grabbing each one of these, I would pay that same price as the Walgreens price, 64 cents a piece. So that's a, a pretty fun one. Um, the other one, we've got CoverGirl again this week. Buy $15 worth of CoverGirl, get a $5 reward, and we always have CoverGirl coupons, $2 and $3 off coupons. Um, and guys, these are the ones that I'm always recommending you get. It is down at the bottom. We're like, I'm sitting on the floor here to take this picture. Uh, it is the uh, professional line of CoverGirl, and they're always the cheapest. So this is the lip. That's the mascara, $6.99, but the $3 coupons still work. So if you grabbed $15 worth and then you start to use those $3 off coupons, you're going to have a pretty sweet deal. Uh, also using your store coupon if you have it for 3 off 12. So Lynn is asking, can I explain the process or logic of waiting until Saturday to clip CVS Digitals? Yeah, for sure. Let me actually just show you um, my CVS um, digital coupons really quick, Lynn. So I logged in and hopefully it's going to remember that I, yes, there we go. It's not going to make me log in again. No, we don't want to take a quiz. Okay, so all of these digital coupons that are in my CVS account, because I am paperless, nothing prints at the coupon center. And if there was ever a time to emphasize why you should be paperless, this is it. Because I can use any of these on an online order. But if you aren't paperless and you need to go to the coupon center to get your coupons, you can't use them on an online order, but I can. So little tiny soapbox there of why you want to go paperless, but this is why, Lynn. So if I come in here and I load, I'm going to just load this guy because I know I'm, I, I won't use it. Um, this Glucerna coupon, let me, I'll try to make it bigger for you if I can. Um, go super big. So I've got a $3 off two Glucerna coupon. You'll notice right now it expires 425. I am going to send this to my card. Now I've extended the, the expiration date by three days. It's going to extend basically till next Tuesday. I've extended it seven days out. That's all it will do. So if I wait until Saturday night and I hit that send to card, it will extend those expiration dates all the way to the next Saturday night instead of loading them on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And now I've extended it to next Tuesday, but I haven't extended it as far as I could have. So the goal here, obviously, if you're going to go into the store and you're going to use any of these, then use them this week, load them and use them this week. But on Saturday nights, it's loading the ones you didn't use this week so that I have all of next week to use them. Uh, and that way I'm not pressured into, oh, I've got to go shopping on Tuesday. Um, they're there. Or I've got to shop online by Tuesday because, again, these are good online or in store. But that's why. It's because whenever you click that button, it extends the date seven days from today. Uh, and, and that's it and no further. So the later that you can click it, the better the deal then. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, Oh, good. I'm glad you were able to get the, the cosmetic deals, Matt. Um, it, there are so, some good ones this week, but there's also free cosmetics. So let's pop there too. So CVS again, uh, back here, and we're on CoverGirl. Buy th uh, basically three items, but you want to buy $15 worth, you're going to get a $5 reward back. So this is what I would do. Grab one CoverGirl mascara and one CoverGirl powder. That comes to right at 15 bucks, a little over. Use two $3 off coupons, one for face, one for eye, and then a store coupon if you have it for three off 12 or three off 15 in cosmetics. After all of those coupons uh, on CoverGirl, they're gonna come out to 64 cents a piece for those two products. Now, we do see CoverGirl deals that end up being free, so if you wanted to wait, you could, um, but if you needed them or wanted them today, um, that would be the, the best option to go to. So um, this just giving you kind of the cheapest ideas. Really, CVS is a store that if you're wanting to go in and you want to get the best deals, sometimes it's just doing it with a calculator in your hand. But um, those are my two go-to products. And then let's talk Rimmel. Uh, and Rimmel, I actually, I don't know where I went on my brain with this and my math. So I had it on the list wrong for a couple of uh, days. I got it fixed yesterday. Rimmel is buy $12 in Rimmel and get a $6 reward back. And these are definitely your cheapest items for it. We also have $2 coupons. So follow me on the math here. Buy two of these. Use two $2 off coupons. Again, you've got that three off 12 in cosmetics. So if you just did the Rimmel deal, you could use it here too. After the store coupon, the two $2 off Rimmel coupons, you're going to come out to owe nothing on those two eyeliners if you went Rimmel. So that's all the cosmetics. Um, 
and you're good to go. And yes, Hilda too is commenting on those CRTs as I was saying, you know, how I can use them. You can, and a lot of times you can combine them. So thank you for that as well. If you came in and you had, this is a great example, 4F14 in Pantene, Head and Shoulders or Herbal Essences, and then up here, 4F18 in Hair Care. If you're digital, those will stack. If you're paper, they will not. Um, so just kind of a fun little perk of digital coupons. They are not stacking on online orders. I will warn you, they only stack in store. So just a, if you're planning on going big on an online order, it won't be as pretty as it would have been um, in the store. But you can still get all of these deals. All CVS deals are available um, online or in store. You will still earn your rewards. Because Walgreens has two programs, that's where you get stuck in this, what can I and what can't I get online. CVS, you're good to get all of them online if you wanted to. Okay, let's talk Aveeno. Really, I'm not, I didn't make a deal uh, in terms of Aveeno, but I don't want to not mention them because this week, pretty much all Aveeno, all facial, all sun care, all Aveeno baby is running an extra care buck. And guys, we just got a ton of Aveeno printables. So if you haven't popped over and printed these, got $3 off Aveeno sun and Aveeno baby, um, you should, because then when I go into CVS and I want to grab these deals, the $30 that's required is before coupons. Uh, a lot of these coupons are also available as, C as CVS Digitals. So you could do this deal online. You could completely go hunting for Aveeno. I have to get out of all my coupons here, um, but I can grab Aveeno. I can use those digital coupons on Aveeno online and I can still earn the extra care bucks. So you can see even under here, it's showing you there's a $2.50 coupon. Um, it's It'll give you the exact same deal that you would have had in the store. So you do not have to go to the store for this one, um, but you should take full advantage of the sale and all the coupons that are out there for Aveeno. One thing to note, the fine print on these guys, it's usually always there but this, it, this does clearly say limit one coupon per purchase and one coupon per customer. So you're gonna need to make a deal with a few different Aveeno products, um, but you've got a ton of coupons to use on them. Whether you go printable, whether you go digital, you've got a lot of options. So um, go to town on that one. It's by $30 before coupons and get a $10 reward. Um, and it really does. I took pictures of a few other things. It includes everything. We even have a coupon on the bars, um, the wipes. Those are the cheapest products in the facial care section. Um, just so you kind of have an idea of what you could grab. You can kind of make your own deal with a bunch of things. Um, I close this one, but let's actually go here next. Eucerin, same deal. We see this a lot on Eucerin. It's buy 20 and get 10 back, which I love. Uh, and I wanted to kind of specifically mention this little guy right here. This is a face uh, like a daily moisturizer, sunscreen, face lotion. Uh, buy two of them. There's a $3.50 printable coupon. The printable coupon wording confuses folks because it does say an eight ounce product or a baby or facial product. Um, th this counts and this works. So if you went in and you grabbed this guy right here, two of them, and you used two $3.50 coupons, after the $10 reward, no store coupon here, just after the $10 reward, you're going to pay $1.99 a piece. So um, that's kind of an exciting one for me because it's a product that my husband uses every day. Uh, if you have a redheaded person in your household, they should also use this every day, as should my blonde hair, blue-eyed self. But uh, it's just a good, just general sunscreen. And if I got my husband one that was a Vino or a girly brand, he probably wouldn't touch it. Um, but he will use that. So I will grab it every time. Let's go free toothpaste here. Uh, and free toothpaste on this one, I don't know. I, I should have checked. I have a feeling this is already sold out on CVS's website, but this is a deal that you could get online because it's free with a digital coupon. So let's see what we come back with um, and whether or not it's even still in the store. Yeah, out of stock online. That was my guess. But um, if we grab this in the store, Crest Pro Health, Crest 3D Health, there's a lot that's part of the sale. They're on sale this week, two for $6.00. And we have a $3 digital coupon that just came out on Sunday. So you grab your CVS app and you load that $3 digital coupon. So you're going to grab two of them for $6. You're going to use a $3 coupon. So now your total due is 3 bucks. 
and you're going to get $3 back in rewards. Um, and again, I did just check. So there may be some others that are part of the sale that are not sold out online, so you can go hunting. But this is an example of just being ready. If you're wanting to not go into the store, you're only wanting to shop online, then it's all about being ready on Sunday morning to load these things into your cart and check out before everybody else. So, I mean, you're just going to have to be on it if you want to do only online shopping. But you notice the massive digital coupon right there. So you can totally get the deal. Um, if it was in stock, you would still earn the extra care bucks as well. So in store or online, this is free. It's just getting it in stock. And on that note, it's CVS deals, Walgreens deals on Southern Savers. I load the list, guys, on Thursdays. So you can, you've got three days to get ready in terms of seeing what the deals are, kind of getting an idea of where you, what you want to grab and put in your cart. If you're wanting to do that Sunday morning shop online, you can. Um, so let me see. Uh, oh, and one other note on this too. Toothpaste or toothbrushes are also part of it and qualify for the digital coupon. So if you are like me, and we're mostly a Colgate family, not a Crest family, um, you could just grab two toothbrushes, use your $3 digital coupon, get $3 back in rewards, and the toothbrush is also going to be free. So you can only do the deal once. You're only, uh, well, I take that back. You can do the deal twice. You're gonna, with oral care deals, you can, can get the reward twice, but you only have one digital coupon. So most of us are only gonna deal this deal once, um, and you're gonna need to decide uh, what you want to grab for that one purchase. You can't can't go back and forth and get more and more. Um, and, oh, I should have looked at my coupon. You can also throw in floss on this too. Um, the coupon is for any Crest or Oral-B product, so you're good if you wanted to throw in floss. Floss is one of those things that I would just prefer to get for free from the dentist, but if you wanted to grab it, you could. Um, we've got really cheap Suave. We just got new coupons for Suave in Sunday's paper for a dollar off. Uh, we had an even better coupon, but it expired on Saturday. So if you wanted some Suave, you're going to head in. You're going to grab two of them for six bucks. You're going to use two one dollar off coupons. So your total due is going to be four bucks, and then you're going to get back a three dollar reward. So it's going to make them fifty cents a piece. Not a bad price at all. Um, I will tell you, if you're going to the store, they are actually a little cheaper in Target. Um, Target is running a gift card deal on all sorts of Unilever hair care um, that when you buy four products, you get back a $5 gift card uh, and you can mix and match. But just to throw that out there as another option, 50 cents isn't a bad price. If you've got a coupon off of hair care, so for me, when we were just looking, I had a four off 18 in hair care. Um, you can use that coupon um, and, and put a few deals together. So let me show you two other deals that you could add in. Um, you can use uh, Garnier Fructis or Garnier Whole Blends. They're really the same deal. They're both two for seven. So go Fructis or go Whole Blends, same deal. I grab two of them. We've got coupons here as well, um, $1 off coupons. So in the end, you're going to grab two bottles for seven bucks, use two $1 off coupons. Your total due would be five bucks, and then you'd get back a $3 reward. So you just paid a dollar a bottle. But if you look at it this way, this is $7 plus $6. You're now at 13 bucks. And if you had a hair care coupon, you could grab, there are other hair care deals that I didn't mention. You could kind of make your own deal with those because you're basically paying three bucks for all of that $13 purchase right now. So you see where I'm going here. You could make your own deal if you had a CVS hair care coupon. Um, and I you know it just depends on the brands you decide to go. But you definitely um, could come out pretty well this week. Um, let's talk Cetaphil really quick. Cetaphil is a favorite of mine for face wash. This week, when you buy $30 worth of Cetaphil, you're going to get back an $8 extra care buck. So it's not quite as fun as the buy 30 and get 10, but it's still pretty good for Cetaphil. And it gets better because Cetaphil wise, we've got a massive amount of coupons. So if you have not been using Ibotta, um, just to jump back, Ibotta on your phone, um, and I didn't hook up my phone because I'm actually using it for internet right now. Um, my kids are doing piano on the phone. So you guys are totally making my day that I do not have to be listening to piano lessons over the phone. But if you pull up Ibotta, a ton of um, 
Cetaphil digital offers are inside of Ibotta. There are all multiple limits as well, limit three, limit fives. Um, the fun part, we have a paper coupon as well for Cetaphil. So you could head in, buy $30 worth of Cetaphil before coupons, use the paper coupons, use the Ibotta's, get back $8 in rewards. Also check your CVS account because I always have a coupon off of any facial moisturizer or cleanser and that's gonna count here too. So you can really start to triple and quadruple dip, it's gonna feel like after all those coupons. So if Cetaphil is your brand, this is your week to grab it with double stacking coupons and possibly a triple if you have a store coupon, um, it's a good week to grab them. Evelyn, you're right. CVS has extended the dates of all of their um, rewards. So if you grab an extra care box and you don't use it before it expires, they will extend it. Um, and some of you may log in and actually see some that you didn't even know you had expired, had let expire, and they're back. That was me. I actually went to CVS the day that they announced that they were extending them, but I'd already gathered all my coupons, so I just decided I'd still go. I used all of my rewards. I don't remember letting any uh, expire and I logged into my CVS account earlier this week and there were 18 that had been reloaded into my account um, for me having let them expire during this time while they're extending them, which is pretty sweet. Um, and uh, Gemma, great question. What is CVS Care Pass? So CVS Care Pass, uh, and let me just pull up the website. CVS Care Pass, if you're a couponer, is something you should be a part of. I am a part of it, um, but Care Pass for them, uh, and I guess it, it, it's just, it, there we go, I don't want the FAQ. Um, Care Pass is a program where you pay to be a part of it. It's kind of like CVS's version of Amazon Prime. You pay to be a part of it. Uh, it's $5 a month, or you can pay yearly. I pay yearly, it looks like I have to update my payment account. Um, but I bought it yearly last time and you get $10 every month. So you can see that right there on the screen that I have a $10 promotional reward to use by 521. So I activated on 321. Um, so today it actually just went live for the next month. Every month you get another $10 to use at CVS. Now, yes, you had to pay for care pass. There are other perks too, like free delivery, free delivery for prescriptions, 20% off, and here are all the perks too, 20% off all CVS health brand, like house brand basically, um, products uh, and whatever else you might want to use from it. For me, signing up and paying, I go if you go with the yearly route, it's cheaper than the monthly even. It's a $5 money maker every month. You're paying $5 for it and you're getting a $10 reward. So if you are a couponer and you're in CVS grabbing your freebies already, they're just paying you five bucks to come back every month. You should be a part of, of Care Pass for sure. I would encourage you if you're going to sign up, I know that we aren't supposed to go to the store, but uh, your store actually gets a perk when you sign up in the store. So if you are going to go shopping sometime in the next few weeks, I would encourage you not to sign up online, but to sign up in the store and help your store out. They would love the, you know, little one more number towards their goal and, and they do get a perk for doing that. But CVS Care Pass is totally worth grabbing it. Uh, and Lynn's also mentioning the beauty program. Yes, if, you, if you're brand new to CVS, then this is your homework. You wanna go to CVS and you wanna type in beauty rewards, uh, and well, for me, it knows I'm already part of it um, or the beauty club. Um, let's do that. Let's see if beauty club pulls it up. Um, come on. So the beauty program at CVS and at Walgreens, they both run one. There we go. Type in beauty club. Uh, you want to join this. There's no reason not to. It's completely free for every $30 that you spend in beauty care, which is not just cosmetics. It's facial care. Um, and so that Aveeno deal would qualify. The Cetaphil deal is going to qualify. The um, Eucerin deal is going to qualify. You get the idea here. For every $30 that you spend before coupons, you earn an additional $3 reward. Well, here you just paid a buck ninety-nine for some Eucerin that really was ten ninety-nine a piece. They track you at the ten ninety-nine price on that item. Pretty sweet. 
So once you add in $30 worth and you paid next to nothing for it, you actually have turned around and earned a whole nother reward. So definitely sign up for the beauty club if you haven't already. Walgreens has a very similar program called Beauty Enthusiast. And for every $50 that you spend, you earn a $5 reward. That's actually how CVS's used to be. And then they reduced it to 30 and get three. So the same ratio. Um, but since Walgreens was originally copying CVS, they went with CVS's original number and then CVS changed it. They didn't really like being copied, I don't think. Okay, let's jump through a few more deals. Um, but we're getting a lot of great CVS tips in here. Uh, there is a deal on diapers and pull-ups this week. They're on sale two for 20. And when you buy two of them, you're going to get back a $5 reward. Uh, we have a $2 coupon for, um, oh, sorry, this is Pampers. I'm looking at them thinking wrong. So Pampers are also on sale. We have a digital coupon for Pampers. They do not come out as cheap as at Walgreens though. So if you do need Pampers and Pampers is your brand, you really want to go with the Walgreens deal on Pampers. Not to mention you can totally get it online still use the coupons. Um, you could get this deal online as well and use the coupons. It's going to come out to $6 a pack after the digital coupons and the reward, um, where the Walgreens deal was $4.99 a pack. So it's a dollar cheaper per pack. Or if you need a ton of diapers, buy them at CVS online and at Walgreens online. Um, but just so you kind of see that one, the deal where my brain was going was Huggies. Uh, there is a deal on Huggies there. Buy one, get one half off. When you buy $20 worth, you get a $5 reward. Now, buy one, get one half off. Um, these guys aren't going to come out to be uh, 20 bucks. Um, they're going to be a little under. So you are going to want to add something to this to hit the $20 limit. What I would recommend you add to this is um, Tide Pods, probably. They're $4.94, and we've got a $2 coupon. So in terms of having something that you're adding in, this guy's got a big coupon, so it's it's adding in a chunk, but then it's taking off a chunk with the coupon. That's really what we're looking for when we're making deals. But if you wanted Huggies, that's the route that I would go. So grab two Huggies diapers, um, use coupons on them that we have. They're all in the CVS list on Southern Savers, and grab the Tide Pods. You can get this deal online. All CVS deals you can get online. It's just whether or not they're still in stock. Uh, and one other thing to mention, a Huggies Swimmers are also part of this sale. So my store didn't have actually a price right here, which would have been helpful. Um, but if you're looking at getting some swim diapers, because you know the hope is that summer is coming, um, you could totally get them and still get the rewards on swim diapers too. Um, let's see, I'm trying to keep up with y'all's questions. Um, Oh, you think Ibotta had a Huggies rebate? So Ibotta has had um, a pull-ups rebate, and I'll check and see what's showing up. Um, this is where I should have told my mom I was going live because my mom's the one that goes through them. Well, it's not wanting to tell me anything right now, but they have had one for pull-ups. And so if you did want to go with pull-ups instead of diapers, you could. I want to say when I was doing the CBS list last week, though, that it was about to expire. So I didn't... Um, I didn't add it to, into the mix this week because it was going to go away. Uh, okay, I mentioned the all already. It is technically 11 cents cheaper in Walgreens, but if you're headed to CVS, just go ahead and get it here. We do have the $1 coupon, so it makes it $1.99. Renews It is also a fun deal. You may not ever use these, but we're talking nine cents here, guys. We've got a dollar off to printable coupon and an Ibotta offer for $2 off five. So grab five of them, use two $1 off two coupons, use your Ibotta for $2 off five. And yeah, you're going to end up paying nine cents a piece after the Ibotta offer. Um, you know, it's not a bad deal for sure. Uh, it, even if you don't normally use them, just tuck them away at nine cents a piece. If you're already headed into the store, I'm not saying you should go just for that, but if you were already headed in. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, CVS Easter is all 50% off, uh, including some pretty large bags. I found like 110 piece bags. So if you're there, I'm not asking anyone to go to the store just to get Easter candy, but if you're there, it is something to look at. And then one thing that Matt mentioned, and I also said that we grabbed were these. There's a ton, a ton of earphones, um, headphones. Uh, we even found power banks that are all $5 or less. So if you are wanting any of these items, we actually need them. My kids have been doing online school all year. That's just how, for my high schoolers, that's how we homeschool. So they're always sitting there with their headphones in listening to class. 
uh, and they can turn and just burn through some headphones the way that they do not necessarily take care of them. So anytime I can do that, and one little inside tip you may not know about, uh, and it could depend on your your kind of region and your area with, with taxes, but for me, this is literally all I bought in CVS. I just ran in, took pictures, but decided to grab this because it was super cheap. Uh, it's $4.99 on clearance. I paid with a $5 extra care box. So if you're new, you don't get the penny back. I'm just blowing the penny. But the total due, zero. Because that extra care buck in most areas comes off before, it comes off more like a coupon before the price is paid, uh, there wasn't even tax on this item. So I walked out the door um, paying absolutely nothing for a pair of headphones using $5 in rewards. Now, I'm not going to get any rewards back, but it is something that my kids need. Uh, one kid's currently listening with one ear, though she didn't tell me that. I would have bought her a pair. I guess we have to go back, but I don't know. Um, so don't miss the clearance deals. Matt was mentioning them. Um, I want to make sure you don't miss them either. There is a good deal if you want to stock up for something in your medicine cabinet on either calendula burn or calendula cream. We have stacking coupons here, a printable coupon and an Ibotta offer and a $5 reward. So that's one uh, to not miss. And then there's also, um, well, let me skip this. There's also a pretty good deal on Culturel this week because of stacking offers. We've got a saving star. We've got Ibotta. We've got a printable. So you're going to save nine bucks just with the coupons, plus get back a $7 reward. There is also a pretty sweet deal on this in Kroger. So if you have a Kroger nearby, Kroger has Kroger cash back, a saving star, and I bought it, and a printable coupon. So that's four offers. Um, so it's full price in all the stores, but if this is something that you use, this is a good time to grab it with all of those stacking offers on top of them. Um, so just so you kind of see it. Um, oh, and Evelyn's saying that Ibotta and the pull-ups are showing up for you guys in Ibotta. Um, awesome. So for me, I'm getting this. We're having trouble connecting, so I can't. Uh, and I'm currently using the phone's internet anyway. But um, yes, check and see if you have that pull-ups deal for sure before heading in. Um, Kotex, we just got $2 off coupons for Kotex. So if this is a brand that you use, then you're going to grab two for eight bucks. You're going to use two $2 coupons. So your total due is going to be four bucks. You're going to get back a $2 reward, but you just ended up getting each of those boxes for $1 a piece. Not a bad price at all. Uh, I do want to mention when it comes to personal care, we're going to pop over and we're going to switch stores for two seconds um, because this week, on personal care, Target is running an unadvertised, all their gift card deals are unadvertised, by the way, but they do have an unadvertised gift card deal on um, personal care feminine products, and there are some digital coupons and paper coupons for these items. So if you aren't a Kotex person, you can get Kotex here too, but if you aren't a Kotex person, if you're an Always or Tampax person, um, that $5 gift card makes a pretty good deal. Uh, and this one is just this week, so you do want to shop online or shop in the store if those are the products you need. So great price on Kotex at CVS, but just one other deal to mention um, since, you know, it's a product we don't all love, but we all need. Okay. That's everything that I had for you. I'm skimming through because I jumped around. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep. I think we hit them all. It's a, kind of a long list for CVS. I know I haven't done these videos in a couple weeks. I am itching to be able to go back and do them in the store, but I hope that this helps you guys. So again, to recap everything at CVS, everything at CVS can be purchased online. You will still use the rewards. Any digital coupons that you may have, you can apply. Whether that is a store coupon for just off any cosmetics purchased, whether it's a digital coupon that is a manufacturer's coupon, they all work online. So pretty sweet. If you have CVS Care Pass, which we also mentioned during this, uh, you're going to get free shipping. So even better. Uh, Walgreens is no longer free shipping on any order. Walgreens is free shipping on any $35 order. But if you went for that diaper deal, you're going to qualify. So grab the Pampers diapers, grab another deal if you wanted to, uh, and you're still going to earn all your balance rewards. You're not going to earn your register rewards. So hopefully this helps you guys know what is out there, um, whether you want to go online or you want to shop in the store, um, just to get an idea of the deals that are there. If you're just getting started, start small. Don't go overwhelming. Like Grab the free toothpaste 
go home uh, because you're not going to really fully understand what you're doing in the store and it's not going to work so well for you. So start really small. Um, but drugstore shopping is a huge way to save. For us, it's it's basically like removing this category from your budget. Nothing personal care uh, and almost nothing household. We buy a lot of those products in the drugstore. So going and getting what you can, using those rewards, you're going to you're going to be very thankful once you get started in the drugstore. So thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you have a good rest of your week. I might try to pop in with some top deals in Publix tomorrow. I'm not planning on a big trip, but I might pop in and share just um, kind of some of the best deals to grab. Uh, but Publix does have a new ad that's starting tomorrow. It's a pretty good ad. Uh, and all of the ads so far I've got up, all of the major ads. I'll have Harris Teeter unadvertised up later this afternoon, but all the other grocery ads are ready for you. So if you want to start getting ready for tomorrow's deals, you can. So thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a great week.